they've actually hurdled half of the tough schedule because they already went up against Ateneo and La Salle. Now they're going to have to contend with at least UST and NU in the final few games as you see a uh, kill block to kick things off. Well, they know what's at stake. FEU, they missed the last uh, final four uh, or at least the last two seasons. Uh, they have a chance right now. Uh, error there on the attack for Adamson. Dean Ubaldo, two aces. Part of her five points in their last game. Another nice block, just like what you said, Pauline. Yeah, they have a good rotation here on the side of FU starting with serve. And Bacante is 6-1 in case you're wondering. 20 yeah. years old. So that's, you know, something to be happy about, yeah, I guess. I'm sure right? uh, it motivated them. And like, you know, they were saying they have nothing to lose. All right. And in the meantime, FEU though, yeah. your former team didn't win against FEU the entire season. And now for today's match, he's starting. She also started in their last game against USD, but only scored a point. There's Petalio. Petalio, superb season so far for Juris Petalio. Seven times she scored in double digits. Here's Petalio once again. Yeah. And that's on the line. What the hops? He's a former player of Ostina Salak when they were both 15 points in the last game along with 14 digs. So that's a double-double. She had 13 against La Salle, 10 against Ateneo. And again, double digits in most of the games. There's a block by Petalio. In her fifth year in college, just second year or second playing year, Antoinette Adolfo serving Petalio off the block. Last three points of FEU coming from Juris Petalio. Confidence must be pretty high coming into this game after a 20-point performance. Jean Assis with a tip. Ancheta popping it up. Nika Yandok. A nice shot coming from Lalong Isip. Tagao saving it. Yandok will go back to Lalong Isip. Oh, turned away by Jean Assis. Jean Assis. So you can see she switched places with Tin Obaldo. So that Tin doesn't... Because... Mas marunong ba ang mga middle blocker tumapat sa wings? Oh, well, FEU fourth in blocking. They've climbed up that statistic after the first round. Nice off speed by Tagao. Confident in this conference for sure. Becoming one of the go-to players for FEU. Against UST in that four-set loss. So they practically gave up a set. One-two play. Uh, quick reflexes by... Ubaldo, there's Tagaud with a hit. Coverage from the back row. And block again. Tagaud knew she was going to go for a tip. We're just at the halfway mark. This seems to be um, the issue for Adamson. It's the first ball. Mm -hmm. Well, they got a good pass there, and exactly. that's the result. Yes. Red Pascon with a tip. Also serving really good. That way, FEU will have a difficult time. A terrific play separating the oh, ball. Well, that is a game. thing. You know, I have to say, as a player. Do you, ha do you have that? Yeah, we all have a certain um, juju. <laughs> you know. Well, the juju work right there yeah. for Baida Bakake. And you knew that that point was going to go to her. And this spike of the set is brought to you by Duncan Pasalubong ng Bayan. Because right before that, Hit. Well, that serve previous to that error was good. Yeah. Adolfo with the serve. Good pass. Oh, but great anticipation by Villegas. Jen Villegas at the net. Two-point run. For Adamson, their biggest run was three points. Uh, they're not going to make it to that mark as Gene Assis puts it away. Well, Gene Assis was the one who won the first ball. Or an attack in the area where the defense isn't there. All right. Let's see if they're able to execute this, but how? Already five points for Tagao. Not a good first ball, a rare misreceive coming from Adamson. What? An underhand pass from Karen Verdeflor. Oh, that could have been outside. Verdeflor picking it up. Just didn't have.
have enough court sense to let it go. You make an impact and win as a team. That is why coming into our second set, expect all of the Lady Tams from first to second stringers to step up and conquer the odds from here on out. Now this report is brought to you Digs by the receptions. Uh, we mentioned Verdeflor double double in the last game, 21 and 17. Digs and receptions, and now add one point to the performance of Karen Verdeflor. There is Pascon knocking one in. That's what Adamson needs to keep on doing. Good dig, good set, and a good attack. Sir. Easy pickup for Ginasis. Petalio, got it. Stops a two-point run of Adamson. Ubaldo to Panangin, turned away, and Lique gives them a taste of their own medicine. Lique with the new haircut, she's rocking it. But you know about blocking, it's also just timing and proper placement. If you are taller, but it's timing. Two blocks already for Mayang Lique. She ha she's had a block every set, and that, but this time it's going to be on Achicuegos, her first. To see action here from her. See how she swiped her arms to the right. A yeah, lucky break there for a year in college, but just in her second year or second playing year. That's a baby. Didn't use up all her playing years for Adams and moved to the pros. Takao down the line. It is outside. Slowly, the momentum is trickling over here. It's a challenge. Ubaldo one-handed set. Pakanke bounces it off the net and got the point. Pakanke just may gigil yung palo. Like what Coach Manolo was saying, but in like over. <laughs> So back-to-back -back points for Fida Bakanke. So a drop ball is unexpected. So on, as, on the defense, you got to stay on your toes. Uh, two lady substitution as Ann Papa will check in along with Marilia Alberto. Our points. So if I were the center, I would just keep giving her the ball. <laughs> Six already for Jean Assis. FEU back on top by one. 20 serving. Whether nine. it's Ubaldo or it's Alberto. So Jean Assis, back-to-back points. She has seven. One of four players with six or more points. Okay. <laughs> by Verdeflor. Pascon outside, but there is a touch. Was there? First referee, Antonio Espartero, says there's no games in over a month. They want to snap it today, but it's a tall order. They're going up against a team that swept them in round number one. They didn't win a set against FEU. That is... Ooh. I don't want to say a super spike. So much power and speed. Time. Ten for Tagawa, nine for Bakanke, seven for Ginasis, and six for. Jers Petalio, so a lot of players contributing. You mentioned the errors were a lot lower for Adamson. They need to keep it that way here in what you could see how she really pressed her arms forward. She really penetrated them above the net. Now, you know, I keep emphasizing that that girl, so the fourth blocking team going against the number one digging team. Yep. Number one digging team, number four receiving team in Adamson. By the way, Petalio is 5-5. Five -five. Let's five blocks. <laughs> what? No, this is one of the crucial players here yeah. in this game. She's really on fire. Seven points already. And there it is. 
Humingi ng isa, binigyan pa. And she delivers. Binabasa ko lang yung utak nila. Let me read your mind. Knocking it in. Uh, there's a nice dig coming from Encarnacion. And the finish. Adamson after the long rally. So Ginasis picking up her ninth point of the game. Said she's on fire. Yep. Keep it going. Gotta go to the players who are hot. In her last four games, she scored a double. Slayer. And now that's gonna be the tenth point of Faida Bakanke, her seventh game in double digits for FEU. So Jerez Batalia has been an all-around player so far. She's got that defense. She's got the block. And even racking points up from the back row. Nine back in the game. Here comes Tagaud. Yes! Cheney Tagaud helping FU get that lead once again. Going through the hands of the blockers. They're well established and I think it also starts with a good serve. They have been coming at Adamson with very difficult serves. We'll sort it out after the game. Substitution, Nika Yandok will see action once again after missing the second set. Antoinette Adolfo also coming back in for Adamson. Well, they're still alive here in the third set. Her fifth point of the game. Three attacks, two blocks. Uh, you mentioned it's Adamson still in it. Uh, just down by two now. Tagawad. Good defense by Pascon. And Antoinette Adolfo will score. Using the hands of the blockers to get that point. And feeling the momentum shifting on the side of Adamson. FEU will call a timeout. And Pascon now with 13 points. This matches her conference high of 13 as well against UB. She is playing very well today. She seems very calm and unafraid and also Barbie those two points well you know this is what I was afraid of on the side of Adamson because I knew after a few rotations she was gonna come at the front and it was gonna be in the time when it mattered the most because look at the score we are now service fault that's her first and it's at the third set <laughs> and she also did have a few minutes on the bench you know she rested great game for Bascon 13 points. Patanke looking to finish it. Let's go, So it looks like it's either Cari Cruz or Paida Patanke for yeah. lead, right? Because mm -hmm. Tino Baldo is at the front line. All right. There's your explanation from yes. Pauline Gaston. If, you do, if, if they get the point and then they press the challenge button for a floor touch after eight seconds, it's too late. Okay. So the moment it happens, you've got eight seconds to push that button. All right now, FU fans and Adamson fans are on the edge of their seats. What a rally, huh? Definitely. <laughs> Coach Refuya. <laughs> it's a little tense today. <laughs> Both teams. Same 
us the second set, 23-25. And welcome back.